This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University, and we're looking at settings in RISE 360. This video focuses on navigation settings. If you click on the settings button and click on navigation, you'll have the ability to customize how your course is navigated by your users. How you decide your learners are going to navigate will depend on your instructional strategy. By default, navigation mode is set to free. You could make it restricted so that they have to move through it in order. As you've previewed your RISE courses, you've probably seen the navigation sidebar. You can make that open, as in keeping it open when you enter the course, or you can have it closed when they enter the course and have the learner turn it on, or you can choose no sidebar at all. I prefer to have it open and to have navigation mode free to use to give learners the most flexibility as they move through the materials. You can have your content searchable or not. These are switches. We can turn them on and off. If as people work through lessons, you can mark them as complete. Again, that's an on off switch. You can provide lesson count labels. The default is one of X, two of X, etc. Uh, the previous and next buttons that appear can be turned on and off, and you can allow users to control the playback speed of any video should you desire to do that. Once you have made those settings to navigation, simply close the settings and they are saved for your course. This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University. Thanks for watching.